And we continue our conversation surrounding college admissions today. College can be a pathway out of poverty, but race does play a role in the opportunities that students have when it comes to higher education. Adrinda Kelly is the executive director of Black Education for New Orleans, and she's here to discuss the racial inequities in higher education. Thank you for joining us for this conversation. Thank you for having We've me. We've been talking about college admissions and the story surrounding that all week long. Today, we do want to focus on race and how that plays a role. First, tell us more about your organization, Black Education for New Orleans. Sure. Thank Thank you for having me. This is such an important conversation. So BNOLA or Black Education for New Orleans is a local education nonprofit that focuses on uh, improving educational progress in our city by supporting black led schools. And so obviously this issue that you're talking about this week is very near and dear to us. Sure. So let's start with that. You were telling me that college can be a pathway out of poverty, which many people know, but the opportunities aren't equal for all races right now. That's absolutely true. Uh, the facts are a college degree uh, has a huge impact on your wage earning potential, about a million dollars difference in, in what you earn as a college degree holder versus a high school degree holder. But the truth is New Orleans children are not accessing uh, college uh, at any level of parity. Um, about 36% uh, of New Orleans children uh, matriculate to a four-year college after high school. And those who go to Louisiana colleges, black students who go to Louisiana colleges are only finishing at a rate of about 30%. And so we have to, to think about what are some of the barriers uh, that our students are experiencing in, in accessing and finishing their college degrees. And what are some of those big barriers? Why are we seeing black children go to college and not finish? Yeah, you talked about some of them earlier this week. Uh, Affordability is a big issue. Um, certainly understanding and, and making a match to your best fit, having access to college counselors, all of that matters. Uh, but the truth of the matter is there's also a, a lot of inherent uh, un unconscious bias baked into the higher education industry that impacts the experience that black students in particular are having uh, as they attempt to matriculate to higher education. Focus more on that unconscious bias. What does that look like? Yeah, I'll give you an example. There was a study that just came out uh, very recently that demonstrated that when students with identifiably black names emailed the college admissions office, they were 10% less likely to get a response. If their email referenced black identity or black activism, they were 17% less likely to get a response. And so the question uh, becomes, if college admissions officers, some of them are shown to be less likely to respond to certain students, how can we expect uh, those same admissions officers to be totally unbiased in their selection process? Moreover, how can we expect the institutions they work for to be the kind of places where black students and all students can thrive and be successful? So I'd imagine that part of the solution then was that you need more diversity among admissions officers. Oh, absolutely. Um, I think there are a couple of solutions that uh, are, are low-hanging fruit. I myself am a graduate of the historic McDonough 35 High School here in New Orleans. And when I graduated in 98, we were routinely sending about 90 percent plus of our students to four-year uh, colleges. And so one of the first things that we can do is learn from what's working. We need to know where we're having success like this in our system currently, and then we need to grow it. Secondly, uh, I had a friend whose uh, big sister uh, was a graduate of Harvard, which is my alma mater. Mm -hmm. And uh, seeing her and, and seeing her as a fellow McDonough 35 alum, that made me realize that Harvard was attainable for me as well. So role models do matter, and it also matters on the side of the admissions office. It is, it is a proven fact that admissions officers who are more diverse are more likely uh, to select right folks with various socioeconomic profiles. So, so that's another thing that we can do. And then thirdly, we need to make sure uh, that students are having access to gateway experiences that get them in the door. All right, lots of solutions there. Hopefully we can start working on those as a whole in this system. Yeah. Adrenda Kelly, thank you so much for being with us this morning. Tomorrow morning, guys, we finish out the week with the story of a young woman who got accepted to three Ivy League schools after going through a program called College Track New Orleans, which encouraged her to reach new heights.